Hey, I'm Rob Sisternino, and I have a podcast where I talk about Survivor every week for a couple of hours, but you're busy and you don't have time for all of that. That's why I've made these videos. This is the least you need to know about the premiere of Survivor Blood vs. Water. Here are my big takeaways from the premiere. I thought that Rupert did a bad job when he decided to switch over and take the fall for his wife, Laura, who got sent to Redemption Island. I think that the point of Rupert and Laura going out there wasn't to have a fun experience or to have some great vacation together. They went out there to win a million dollars and they have a better chance to do that with Rupert staying in the game and not Laura. If the loved ones all voted out Laura on the first chance that they got, you better damn well sure bet that the favorites are going to do that at their first chance. So don't be surprised to see both Rupert and his wife getting very cozy at Redemption Island sometime soon. Okay, number two, we have the formation of a bro alliance, in effect, on the tribe of new players. It is led by Brad Culpepper. He's the husband of Monica Culpepper. He's a former NFL player. So the idea of a bunch of guys huddling up together, coming up with a play, and executing it seems like a good one. Unfortunately, this is not the NFL. This is Survivor, and a bro alliance is doomed to failure. There will be too many Chiefs not enough Indians, and then what's going to happen when the loved ones get into play? Look for the bro lions to fall apart very shortly on Survivor Blood vs. Water. And number three, how about Jervis the other night? Jervis waited 13 years to come back to Survivor for this? Now look, I can relate. I am by no means Michael Phelps when we get into the water. That being said, if somehow, despite my inferior swimming, we managed to win a challenge, I would not then go and trash talk the other team. You never want to be the worst person on a group and then go and trash talk the team that just won. And because of that, the other tribe ends up voting Jervis's niece out of the game, which I thought was not a great move for them. Because potentially, you could see Jervis's niece Marissa come back and join the tribe of favorites. There's all these other crazy rules that we have to think about here. I would say, whenever possible, I would send somebody who was not going to be good in the challenges off to Redemption Island, because chances are they would lose the challenge, and if their loved one switches with them, then you get the person who is not so great in challenges joining the opposition. All right, so if that's just not enough recap for you, we've got plenty of coverage, way more coverage than anybody should have on a 42-minute TV show. We did our first Survivor Know-It-Alls of the season with Stephen Fishback. That's the show where him and I go back and forth and debate all of the points from the episode. And then I did my first interview podcast of the season with Survivor winner Kim Spradlin talking about her three former castmates from Survivor One World that are on this season. So... If that's not enough for you, go ahead, subscribe to our channel. You'll get plenty more of updates like this. And please let me know how I can improve this. Tell me the kinds of things that you'd want to hear in a very quick, bite-sized version of a Survivor recap. So, I'm Rob Cicerino, and this is The Least You Need to Know about the premiere of Survivor Blood vs. Water.